Hello students, we will discuss about the numerical log structure of atom. Very first question is, question first is, write down the quantum number and 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 for the following orbit. So very first is 3d x square y square second is 4d z square third is 3d x square and 4d 3d we have to calculate the quantum number n l n n so if we talk about 3 d x square y first is 3 d square d x square y square we know it very well that the value of d z square the value of m for d z square is equal to 0 and the value of m for d x y and dx square y square can be plus minus 2 but generally 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 the value of m for dx square y square is equal to plus 2 and dxy and for dxy it's minus 2 so if we talk about 3d x square y square 3d x square y square then in 3d x square y square we have to find out the value of n l and f and here 3d x square y square so n will be 3 because 3 represent the number of shell so the n the value of n will be 3 and l value for s P, D, and F. L value for F is 0. L value for P is 1. D, uh, L value for D is 2. And for F, it is 3. So, we know the value of, uh, the value of L for D is 2. And we know that the electron is present in 3 D X square Y square. So, for D, the value of L will be now the value of m here we have already discussed that for generally the uh, the m value for dx square y square is equal to plus 2 and the m value for dx y is equal to minus 2 so we are talking about dx square y square so for uh, for 3 dx square y square m value will be plus so for 3 dx square y square n equals to 3 l equals to 2 and m equals to 2 plus 2 we can say now 4 d z square 4 d z square now 4 the numerical value is 4 so the value of n will be 4 l because it's d z square and we know the value of l for d is 2 so the value of l will be 2 and for d z square we know the value of m will be 0 now the next 3d 3 d x y n will be 3 and l will be 2 because we are talking about the d orbital and for d orbital the value of n will be 2 now the value of m we know that d x y so d x z and d y z the value of dxz and dyz for m will be plus minus 1. But generally we consider the m, uh, m value for dxz will be plus 1 and the m value for dyz will be equals to minus. So here uh, in question we have given dxy. So the m value for dxy will be minus 2. Here uh, only dxz and dyz is here. We are not talking about dxy, dxz, dyz. We are talking about dxy. So its value will be minus 2. But 
the thing is for remember is that that the value of m for dx z will, will be plus 1 and the value of m will be minus 1 for dy z. The next question is 3p x n will be 3 l. In this question we are talking about p or by p subshell and for p subshell l will be 1. General px and py. The value of px and py is plus minus 1 but generally px stands for plus 1 and py is equal to minus 1. So if you talk about px then generally the value of m will be plus. Now the next question is how many orbitals are present in the subshell with n equal to 3 and l equal to 2 and for second n equals to 4 and l equals to 2 and in third case n equal to 5 and L equal to 2. So in this question we have to find out the number of orbitals uh, which are present in subset. And we have care the value of N and L. The value of uh, in first case the value of N is 3 and L is equal to 2. The value of L is 2 which indicates that it that is D orbital because we have already discussed that for F, P, D and F. The value of L 0, 1, 2 and 3. So for D orbital the value of L will be 2. So if we talk about in first case then it will be then it will be 3 D. 3. Now if we talk about second case in second case n equals to 4 and l equals to again 2. It means it will be 4d. And if we talk about third case, then in third case n equal to 5 and l equal to again 2. It means it will be 5. So in each case l equals to 2. Hence m will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2. That is 5 value which means 5 orbital. It means only 5 orbitals are present in each case because in each case D or by D subcell is present and in D subcell 5 orbital is present which value is minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus. So the answer is, so its answer will be in each case L is equal to 2 hence the value of m will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2. That is 5 value which means 5 or by 2. Now the next question is which of the following which of the That of quantum of quantum number are not possible. Are not n equal to three, n equal to two, m zero, and the value of s is minus half. The second one is n equal to 3, l ki value 2, m is minus 2 and the value of s is and the third is n 3, l is 3, m is minus 3 and s is 
plus four and it's one and it's zero. Now we have to find that which of the following sets of quantum number are not possible. So if we talk about first, then in first the value of n is 3 and l is 2. It means the value of l is uh, lower than n. We know that the subset for, uh, for uh, the value of n is greater than, than that of l. Only that, only that subset is possible. So, if we talk about first case, in first case, n equals to 3 and l equals to 2. So, it's possible. And for 2, uh, the value of l uh, is 2, which indicates that it's d, d sub cell. And for d sub cell, the value of m is possible because for d, d z square, the value of m equals to 0. And s can be minus half. So, if you talk about first case, then it's possible because because n equal to 3 and l is equal to d and m equal to 0, it means it indicates 3d z square and it, it set is and this set is of quantum number is possible. But if we talk about second, for second, n is equal to 3 l is equal to 2 and m is equal to minus 2 and s is equal to minus half and in this case the value of n is greater than l so in second case 3 the value of n is 3 so it's 3 the value of l is 2 so here d subset will be equal because for D, the value of L equals to 2, but here M, uh, the value of M is minus 2. And we know that for D, X, Y, the value of D, X, Y for M is minus 2. So, this quantity set of quantum number is also possible. But if we talk about third case, in third case, n is equal to 3 and l is also equal to 3. But we know that only the cell is possible in which the value of m is greater than l. But that subcell is not possible for that the, uh, for uh, in which the value of n and l is equal. So this subcell is this uh, set of quantum number is not possible. So our answer will be third. If we talk about fourth, it's not possible. The value of n is 4 and the value of l is 1. It means it indicates p. So it's p for p but the value of m equal to 0 and uh, for p z the, the value of m equal to 0. So it will be 4 p z. So here third case is not possible. Now, the next question is, what is the total number of orbitals associated with the principal quantum number, quantum number n is equal to we have to find out the total number of orbitals associated with the principal quantum number n is equal to 3. And we know it very well that only subcell is possible for that the value of n is greater than n. So if the value of n is the value of n is 3, then the possible value of l can be 0, 1 and 2. So, in that case, there are three subcells designed as 3s, 3p, and 3d. Because the value of n is 3, so for uh, for the value of 0, for l, will be, it will be 3s, and if the value of uh, f of l will l is 1, then it will be 3p and if the value of 3d 
and if it if the value of l will be 2 then the subset will be 3 so for for 3 as subsection l is equal to 0 and we know that l is, is equal to 0 then m will be equal to so in that case only one orbital is possible one or we can uh, calculate in through a formula also the formula is 2l plus 1 the value of l is equal to 0 so it will be 2 into 0 plus 1 which will be equal to 1 so for l subcell the value of orbital will be 1 but if we talk about 3p then for 3p the value of l will be 1 and if we put the value of L in this formula, then it will be 2 into 1 plus 1 will be equal to 3. For 3D, L is equal to 2. And if we put the value of 2 in 2L plus 1 formula, then it will be 2 into 2 plus 1, which will be equal to 5. So, we have to find out the total number of orbitals present in the shell with m equal to 3 so it will be the total number of uh, the total number of orbital present in 3s 3p and 3d so we can write that total number of orbital present in the shell with n is equal to 3 will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 will be equal to so our answer will be 9. Now the next question is what is common between dxy and dx square y square orbital and the second question is what is the difference between them and the third question is what is the angle of the above two so in this question three questions are there First is what is common between dxy and dx square y square orbital. So the answer of first question will be both have identical shape consisting of 4, 4. If we talk about dxy and dx square y square then both have uh, both have identical shape or we can say that double dumbbell shape uh, so both have the identical identical shape consisting of four logs if you talk about the dxy 